hope you're well. Um, as promised, I've got another another um, art journal flip for you. Um, this was a just a normal kind of spiral bound um, sketchbook that I bought from Hobbycraft. Um, okay paper, nothing too fancy, nothing too special. Um, and when I worked on it, I worked on it loose leaf um, and then I put the pages back in and rebound it up. Um, the cover was inspired by a um, video from uh, Paper Pastels um, and I'll put find the video and I'll put it in the description below. Um, and um, basically the front is, um, is has air drying clay on the front and I rolled it out and cut it to the to cut it out to the shape I wanted. Um, then I used a text stamp and some other stamps on there to give it some indentations. Um, and I used some glass glass beads, the sort that you put in um, you know like flower arrangements and candles, that kind of thing. I pushed those into the clay to give those indentations. Then I let the clay dry overnight. Um, while the clay was drying I took the my glass marbles and I painted on the flat underneath side of them with nail varnish which had stars in that. Let that dry and then when everything was dry I glued it to my sketchbook and put the glued the um, glued the oh, clay piece to the sketchbook then I glued the marbles on. I painted it all in a um, three colour paint to give it a kind of a marbly effect and I then put glitter over the whole thing um, and that was it really um, but as I say I'll show you the video of where I got my inspiration from and I love it and I will certainly be doing that again to um, to a journal in the future so this journal spans um, when did I start I wrote it in I always write it in um, so end of May this year 2013 to the end of August 2013 so yeah it spans from when we were living at our old house to now we're living in our new house um, and there's various different things in there a lot of watercolour and a lot of well you'll see so here we go then okay so this is the very first page I just did it to kind of <laughs> almost make it look like a book so this was the, like the kind of the, the um start page so I did it in sort of like matching colours and everything um, and I, was, I hope you can see it all it's very it's quite a big book as you can see I'll show you the size of my hand it's quite big it's um oh it's 30 centimeters tall so it's quite big so I'm trying to get it all in all in frame um so this was just this was um this was watercolour, sorry, water soluble oil pastels, and there's some bit of ephemera there. Uh, these two pages are watercolour. I don't know, I try not to make this too too big, so too long a video. So um, I'm gonna just sort of tell you kind of what I used and hopefully that's okay. Um, some of the pages I'll be able to tell you what it says, some of it, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just experimenting in um, watercolour. So I'll try and make it easier for you to see. Um, that's a uh, photograph I stuck in there. Um, that's my husband and I. We met at school and then we started um, going out together in 1997. Oh. Um, and so, <laughs> two peas in a pod. I just, you know, we've been together so long. I love him. Um, but we are. We are like two peas in a pod, really. <gasps> Bless us. Um, yep, some more watercolour. I love her. I really love how she turned out. Actually, I think I really like her as well. But it's just kind of experimenting and developing sort of um, developing characters and faces, and um, I enjoy kind of seeing how they, you know, how they come come to be. <laughs> this took me ages to do all these little bunnies um it was with just you know i just sat there watching telly doodling with pen and ink and then i watercolored it all in um uh, it's got a lot of um ephemera in the background and um, this quote says a divine universal plan exists and it is beautiful and full of joy and i found that in a magazine and i just quite liked it so i just stuck it in i didn't really know what to do <laughs> and um she has been painted with water soluble oil pastels as well they're the um 
the Crayola ones, um, the portfolio ones, if you don't know what they are, they're these ones. <laughs> to grab those um doo -doo -doo. it's really thick pages um yeah just some watercolors again more that's watercolor for a while um because we packed up our old house i literally just had my sketchbook and some watercolors a pen and a pencil out so quite a lot of these were we had no telly because that had gone um, so it's just kind of just using my watercolour and that was all. And then from here you kind of see the transition, transition, sorry I'm talking too quickly, transition to the new house when um, I had everything back again. So um, this is acrylics and glitter, it's got glitter stars. Um, I'm going to hold it up and see if I can refocus for you so you can... Oh dear, I don't seem to be able to be focused very well, do I? Anyway, you kind of hopefully, hopefully get the gist. Don't you just hate it when you have to like keep re... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, but I love that page. Turns out I love purple. Um, I Someone asked me the other day what colour my favourite colour was and I didn't really know and... Now I've been looking around, everything at the moment is purple, so I'm in a real purpley mood. <laughs> um, this was my very first page that I did in our new house, in my new office, with all my stuff around me. Um, so it's just kind of, I don't know, I just felt like using and testing everything. So it's got ephemera on there and paint and oh, lots of stuff. stuff. Um, and so that's why it says this is my happy place, because it is. <laughs> Um, and you probably can't really see the journaling very well in there, but yeah, that's just kind of one of those mop-up pages that you don't really know what to do with. That's just in there. It's, sorry, I might, I might get on some people's wick here, but um, sometimes I create an art journal page and I have nothing in mind. And I create this really cool background or really cool layers, whatever you want to call it. And there are a lot of people in the art journaling world. I know Romani in Romani's realm has touched on this before, and I'll put her the link to her video in the description below. But there is quite a thing about um, you know keep working through with mixed media and doing more and more layers, more and more layers, but and then you know and then covering the layers up, etc. But I don't do that. If I really like something, I'll just leave it how it is. I don't care, I'll just leave it exactly how it is. There's no rules. It's my art journal and I stop when I like it. Um, if I don't like it, yeah, I'll cover up a layer or part of a layer, but, you know, so I, um, yeah, folks, don't get hung up on you have to create lots of layers in your pages because you don't, unless you want to, unless you just really enjoy the process of putting layers and layers and layers and layers and down, which I do sometimes, and other times I just get to the point where I'm like, I like that, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> So let's know if that's just me or whether you feel the same as well. So, um, and I think I'm coming up to a really good example of that. No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought I was. Um, this page is a complete random, random mess. Um, I tried to use some, um, I, in a mail art swap, I got sent some really lovely pieces of ephemera and I wanted to try and use them. And uh, I ended up just making a massive hodgepodgey, mess of the whole blooming thing so so yeah <laughs> so I gave up but um this page I love <laughs> um and it's funny how stuff just kind of happens like that I guess um and I'll try and zoom oh, wrong way try and zoom in a bit for you so you can you can see it a bit better because I love my smiley happy faces yeah so hopefully Hopefully that was all right. You saw all that okay. And we'll zoom back out. And you are there. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I hum a lot. Yeah, that's another. I love my Hello Sunshine page. <gasps> I just like bright, happy, smiley, smiley things. Um, yeah, this is the page that I was talking about that I really loved my background. Um, and I felt like 
covering some bits up and other bits not and I kind of pushed through it and I really loved it but and I loved the background but then I was like I don't really want to put anything on top of that because I really like it <laughs> um, and then one day I did drew this, a picture of a girl and her nose and her face went absolutely oh, she just did not work out at all well so um, I cut her face <laughs> So I cut her face up and just stuck it on there and now this is one of my favourite pages. I've got a lot of favourite pages in this journal. This one and this one and this one and the one with the stars that you saw. So I guess when I was a lot of the time when I was creating in this journal I was in a really really happy place. <laughs> so and I think it probably shows. Um, oh I can't get a page. Um, now this page on the left, um, I saw, I've been seeing lately a lot of YouTube videos where people have been reusing their, um, baby wipes on projects that have, they've used for blending oil pastels and things, and that's what I used there, and I have to say uh, that, I didn't really like using it, I don't know whether it's just the baby wipes I've got, but they were really, really thick. And I just didn't really like the texture and just the way it's kind of come out on my page. So, I mean, it looks quite cool through the viewfinder, but um, I just, uh, in real life, I'm just not really, really that keen on how it, how it feels. Um, and little doodle, this was with, um, this, sorry, this one was literally just the paper towels glued down and then black marker over it. That's it. There's nothing else. All the colour on there was on the baby, on the baby wipes um this uh, bunny no i like my bunnies um was with pro markers this one is another one of my favorite pages um it was a, another one of my mop up pages you know when you've got your stencil that you've got too much ink on and you just splodge it down well that was one of my one of my splodgy attempts um, actually, I, I try and journal, I don't know if you can see it in the video very well, but I try and journal on my pages, so a whole load of, um, bit of journal in there. This, um, this journal is mainly for arting in and less writing, whereas I know a lot of you have sort of seen this. This journal that I'm using at the moment is, um, has kind of a lot more writing in it. Um, but I've got, I always have a few journals on the go anyway so um so yeah so future generations will look back through my journals and they'll be like trying to piece together the timeline and they'll be like ah, i can't do it because it'll be all over the place <laughs> um yeah, I, I kind of liked the concept of this page this sp spread even because that was another background that I kind of liked where it was going and then I started to mess with it too much and it I don't know I quite, I quite like it um but the face didn't quite I don't know she didn't quite turn out the way I was hoping I like her but she didn't quite turn out the way I was sort of hoping really but there we go um I'm just sort of doing my de-stash and stuff. I found some um, Halloween um, fuzzy felt type embellishments. So I decided to use them. I got four packs of them. And so I've got four pumpkins, four bats, four, four spiders. I don't know what to do with them because here in the UK, you know, we don't really celebrate Halloween as much as you guys do in the, in the States. Um, so I thought I'd do a bit of an art journal page and I did a journal page about Alphaba from Alphaba, Alphaba from um, Wicked by oh I can't think is it Gregory Maguire? So anyway, you all know Wicked. So there we go. Um, that was just some oil pastels. Um, wasn't really sure where that was going with that, and that um, that there is just pencil. Um, Nothing much to say about that, just having fun doodling and sketching in my journal, really. So guys, you're going to notice a continuity problem now. 
I've got different colored nails. Um, basically, I was merrily talking away and my battery died. So I had to put it on charge, hence the cable. And um, while I was waiting for my battery to recharge, I painted my nails and was watching YouTube. So, do you like the colour? The brownie colour? Um, right, okay, so I said that that was just a, a sketch that I was just doing with pencil. So moving on. Um, that was actually done by my dad. Um, we both go to an art art group locally and um, my dad did that with oil pastels as a preliminary um, plan out for a painting he was going to do and I'll put the link in the description below to his actual painting because we videoed it if you want to see him doing the actual proper the proper thing and he gave it to me he borrowed some paper of mine and he um uh, did it whilst at the group he kind of plotted it out and did an initial kind of sketch with it so I put it in my in my journal my voice went really squeaky then my journal um uh this is just a pencil sketch girl and then I just use some spray, spray um glimmer shimmer mist to let it run down for her hair um couple of I'll turn that around so you can see that better um I'm not too great on profile face profiles but I'm getting better um she just I don't know something not quite she just looks like she's been squished on her nose <laughs> um but that was um done with watercolor and I made her a bit greenish because I thought she could be a fairy and then this was um, gesso with a stencil and then watercolour and then I just put the earth laughs in flowers um, and then did I improved her <laughs> um, so that was so that was the sort of like the preliminary sketch which I really like the colouring and everything um, I prefer this her face I prefer her face shape on this one, but not the colouring. Um, so I guess you win some and you lose some. Um, but there you go. So that's that one, and then that one. But I still like them. I still really like them. Um, and this page, I I showed you that in my in a vlog that I did. And I'm going to go get the painting. Um, that was a preliminary sketch out for a painting that I did um, and that's how the painting ended up um, and I exhibited that at a local art group so I'll put the two um, together if I can sorry as I said the book's quite big and I'm just trying to get it all in frame um, so there can you see that okay <laughs> There, so you get a kind of idea but there yeah there we go my my canvas um so i all i i do not always but i do like to kind of um plot stuff out in my journal first so i kind of get an idea of how what i'm doing and how it's gonna how it's gonna look i don't always do that but i do sometimes <laughs> Um, I really don't know what was going on here. <laughs> I really, really, I don't know. It ended up being some sort of jumbly mess. But I'm a big believer in improving on what you do. So I've left that in there to look at as kind of a reference and to move on and improve from. <laughs> and another bunny, always bunnies. Um, yeah, some really random, random pages. I don't know really what I was thinking and what I was doing there, but they're in there. They're in there anyway. I'm coming to the end now. And just to finish us off, a bunny. Um, another bunny. And then there's my end page, so it kind of looks a bit like, like the journal. And that's, and that's...